हेलो एवरीवन दृष्टि आई एस वेलकम सी टू दू सी रिसॉर्ट सिंप्लीफाइड टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशंस पार्ट वन द डायमेंशंस वी आर गोइंग टू कवर आर इंट्रोडक्शन सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू जीन एंड एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट Biotechnology is the use of biological systems found in organisms or the use of the living organisms themselves to make technological advances and adapt those technologies to various fields. With the development of genetic engineering in the 1970s, research in biotechnology and other related areas such as medicine, biology etc. developed rapidly because of the new possibility to make changes in the organism's genetic material that is dna biotechnology deals with industrial scale production of biopharmaceuticals and biologicals using genetically modified microbes fungi plants and animals now let's discuss about some important terms related to gene first is gene gene is the basic physical unit of inheritance it is a part of the dna in a cell that controls the physical development behavior etc of an individual plant or animal and is passed on from its parents next is genome genome is the complete set of genes or genetic material present in a cell or organisms The human genome is a complex set of instructions like a recipe book directing organism growth and development. Next is genome organization. This refers to the linear order of DNA elements and their division into chromosomes. Can also refer to the 3D structure of chromosomes and the positioning of DNA sequences within the nucleus. Next is gene editing. It is a technique of making specific changes to the DNA at a specific sequence. For this, DNA is inserted, deleted, modified or replaced in the genome. For this, CRISPR-Cas9 scissor is used. It involves making cuts at specific DNA sequences with enzymes called engineered nucleases. Next is genome sequencing. A genome is a complete set of genetic instructions which are present in an organism in its DNA. Sequencing is the sequence of occurrences of the four nucleotide bases that is adenine that is A, cytosine that is C, guanine that is G and thymine that is T. The human genome is made up of over 3 billion of these genetic letters. The whole genome can't be sequenced all at once because available methods of DNA sequencing can only handle short stretches of DNA at a time. While human genomes are made of DNA that is deoxyribonucleic acid, a virus genome can be made of either DNA or RNA that is ribonucleic acid. Coronavirus is made of RNA. Every organism has a unique genome sequence. Genome sequencing is a technique that reads and interprets genetic information found within DNA or RNA. Now let's discuss about applications of biotechnology. First is agriculture. Alternative of conventional farming. Use of genetically modified crops is a possible solution. It is an alternative path to conventional farming and the understanding of genetics could enable farmers to obtain maximum yield from their fields and to minimize the use of fertilizers and chemicals so that their harmful effects on the environment. Next is genetically modified organisms that is GMO plants bacteria fungi and animals whose genes have been altered by manipulation are called genetically modified organisms or gmo gm plants have been useful in many ways 
genetic modification has made crops more tolerant to abiotic stresses that is cold drought salt heat reduced reliance on chemical pesticides or pest resistant crops help to reduce post harvest losses increased efficiency of mineral usage by plants this prevents early exhaustion of fertility of soil and enhanced nutritional value of food example golden rice that is vitamin a enriched rice next is genetically modified biopesticide bt toxin is produced by a bacterium called bacillus thuringiensis that is bt for short bt toxin gene has been cloned from the bacteria and been expressed in plants to provide resistance to insects without the need for insecticides in effect it created a biopesticides examples are bt cotton bt corn rice tomato potato and soya bean etc some strains of bacillus thuringiensis produce proteins that kill certain insects such as lepidopterans tobacco budworm army worm coleopterans beetles and dipterans that is flies and mosquitoes b thuringiensis forms protein crystals during a particular phase of their growth these crystals contain a toxic insecticidal protein next is pest resistant plants several nematodes parasitize a wide variety of plants and animals including human beings a nematode meliodogyne incognita infects the roots of tobacco plants and causes a great reduction in yield a novel strategy was adopted to prevent this infestation which was based on the process of rna interference that is rnai RNAi takes place in all eukaryotic organisms as a method of cellular defense. This method involves silencing of a specific mRNA due to a complementary dsRNA molecule that binds to and prevents translation of the mRNA silencing. Next is medicine. The recombinant DNA technological processes have made an immense impact in the area of healthcare it enables mass production of safe and more effective therapeutic drugs the recombinant therapeutics do not induce unwanted immunological responses as is common in case of similar products isolated from non human sources next is genetically engineered insulin Management of adult onset diabetes is possible by taking insulin at regular time intervals. Insulin consists of two short polypeptide chains, chain A and chain B, that are linked together by disulfide bridges. In mammals including humans, insulin is synthesized as a prohormone. Like a proenzyme, the prohormone also needs to be processed before it becomes a fully mature and functional hormone, which contains an extra stretch called the C-peptide. C-peptide is not present in the mature insulin and is removed during maturation into insulin. The main challenge for production of insulin using rDNA techniques was getting insulin assembled into a mature form. Next is gene therapy. If a person is born with a hereditary disease, can a corrective therapy be taken for such a disease? Gene therapy is an attempt to do this. Gene therapy is a collection of methods that allows correction of a gene defect that has been diagnosed in a child or embryo. Genes are inserted into a person's cells and tissues to treat a disease. and correction of a genetic defect involves delivery of a normal gene into the individual or embryo to take over the function of and compensate for the non functional gene next is curing adenosine deaminase that is ada deficiency adenosine deaminase enzyme is crucial for the immune system to function this disorder is caused due to the deletion of the gene for adenosine deaminase Through gene therapy lymphocytes from the blood of the patient are grown in a culture outside the body a functional ada cdna 
using a retroviral vector is then introduced into these lymphocytes which are subsequently returned to the patient. However, the patient requires periodic infusion of such genetically engineered lymphocytes. And if the gene isolated from marrow cells producing ADA is introduced into cells at early embryonic stages, it could be a permanent cure. Next is molecular diagnosis. For effective treatment of a disease, early diagnosis and understanding its pathophysiology is very important. Using conventional methods of diagnosis, serum and urine analysis, etc., early detection is not possible. Some of the techniques that serve the purpose of early diagnosis are recombinant DNA technology, polymerase chain reaction that is PCR, and ELISA that is enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. Presence of a pathogen, bacteria, viruses, etc. is normally suspected only when the pathogen has produced a disease symptom. However, the concentration of pathogens is already very high in the body. With molecular diagnosis, very low concentration of a bacteria or virus can be detected by amplification of their nucleic acid by PCR. Next is diagnosis of HIV. Polymerase chain reaction that is PCR is now routinely used to detect HIV in suspected AIDS patients. It is being used to detect mutations in genes in suspected cancer patients too. PCR is a powerful technique to identify many other genetic disorders. A single-stranded DNA or RNA tagged with a radioactive molecule probe is allowed to hybridize to its complementary DNA in a clone of cells. It is followed by detection using autoradiography. The clone having the mutated gene will hence not appear on the photographic film because the probe will not have complementarity with the mutated gene. ELISA is based on the principle of antigen-antibody interaction. An infection by pathogen can be detected by the presence of antigens that is proteins, glycoproteins, etc., or by detecting the antibodies synthesized against the pathogen. Next is CRISPR technology. It is a simple yet powerful tool for editing genomes. It allows researchers to easily alter DNA sequences and modify gene function. CRISPR-Cas9 was adapted from a naturally occurring genome editing system in bacteria. The bacteria capture snippets of DNA from invading viruses and use them to create DNA segments known as CRISPR arrays. The CRISPR arrays allow the bacteria to remember the viruses. If the viruses attack again, the bacteria produce RNA segments from the CRISPR arrays to target the virus's DNA. And it is being explored in research on a wide variety of diseases including single gene disorders such as cystic fibrosis, hemophilia and sickle cell disease. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.